So let's listen to our experts, Marco Wambach and Andreas Zintl. Both are working in the food and beverage industry, talking about process industries. So welcome up on stage. So, hello and welcome to the future of food and beverage. You all know these fitness trackers who should help us to stay fit and healthy. In the future, there might also be nutrition consultants. So let's have a look and give it a try. Hello, Nutrition Control. How am I doing today? Hello, Marco. This is Nutrition Control. You reached a critical level. Almost no sleep, a lot of unhealthy food. We need to react fast. Here is your personal, optimized drink to get you back on track. So, hello. Marco, I think I have exactly what you need right now. So we have just produced your individual soft drink based on the information that we have received from Nutrition Control. I have no idea why it's purple, but it's your Nutrition Control, Marco, so I think that should help you to bring, come back on track. Let's try. Better? Much better. And now we can handle the presentation. Okay, dear audience, this is how the future might look like. Food and beverages automatically designed to fulfill your individual needs. And actually, the industry is not that far away. Let's have a look how far you can go with Siemens in food and beverages already today. My name is Andreas Zintel. And my name is Mark Wambach. And today, we are going to show you how digitalization applies to the food and beverage industry. Digitalization is not only changing the way how we produce very complex products like cars or airplanes. Oh, Marco, I would like to have that blue car. Let's talk about a car. Focus, Andreas. We are talking about food and beverage today. Okay. Imagine when you're in the supermarket, you see a lot of different flavors, attractive packaging, and ingredients targeting different customer requirements. So low-fat, diet, or bioproducts. And I always wonder how the global players in the beverage market can handle these complex customer demands. But I think digitalization can help us here. Yeah, absolutely. Digitalization is playing a vital role in the food and beverage industry. And we, we can make it happen with Siemens technology. So we have the right portfolio to cover the entire life cycle of such a soft drink, starting with product design, the planning of the production, engineering, execution, and of course, finally, the services. OK, then let's start with the product design. Here, it's all about to create a digital twin for the product itself. This means we make sure that the required ingredients, sugar, flavors, water, are mixed in the right concentrations. Yeah, and Siemens supports this formulation process, taking into account different regulations in different markets. For example, in the US, Europe, Asian countries, or any other country, it doesn't matter. And Marco, this is exactly the step where we can change the formulation according to your individual needs defined by your nutrition control. But a change in the formulation also means a change in the nutrition table. And this leads us to the next step, which is the creation of a cost-efficient but also attractive packaging. This includes a stress test simulation of the packaging based on the digital twin, but also the integration of the individual nutrition table in the label design. After the product has been designed now, now we verify that we can produce it on a wider scale. Like for the product itself, now we create a digital twin for the complete production facility. This enables us to simulate the production capacity, and we can check if we can reach our production targets. Yeah, so this means we can really validate the entire plant before building it. We can identify bottlenecks and avoid overcapacities. But most important, we can run the complete plant under extreme conditions without any risk to the employees or the equipment. And we can create a digital twin even for an existing plant. 
Yes, right. This is absolutely no problem. Especially in the food and beverage industry, most of the plants are brownfields. So that means they already exist. And with the technology of our partner from Bentley Systems, we can scan the existing plants and the equipment and use this data from the scanner to create a digital twin of the plant and the equipment. Yeah. And this digital twin can then be used in our simulation tools. And we can use the digital twin even after the startup of the plant, right? Right. So every time you introduce a new product, you can use the digital twin to do a feasibility check. And this will tremendously speed up your time to market. And in addition, the digital twin is also the basis for the next step in our concept, which is the production engineering. Yes, and production engineering is traditionally a lot of work. In this phase, engi engineers consuming a lot of time to specify the mechanical, the electrical, and the automation components. With Siemens, you can save this time because we have the technology to integrate the electrical and mechanical design with our automation. Mm -hmm. So Siemens has all the software tools that are needed to ensure an efficient production engineering. And the good thing is they are all integrated. So that means they are capable of exchanging data. And this fosters the collaboration between the different departments that are involved in the production engineering process. So this is how digitalization, in fact, gets a human touch, because it helps to bring people closer and let them work more efficient. Sounds fantastic, but you're talking a lot of about digital twins and planning and things like that. But how you produce my drink now? Yeah, Marco, now I will bring you from the virtual world of planning to the real world of production. And to be honest, your nutrition control is quite demanding in producing your individual soft drink. To achieve that, we have to synchronize our manufacturing operations with the business processes. And one step is to have a proper scheduling, taking into account the availability of the material, of the equipment, of employees, or things like energy consumption. And you know what? We have a solution for that. Besides scheduling, you also need to consider the efficiency of your production lines. Now, this means we need the transparency on our production assets. We can calculate and report KPIs and even react with line balancing algorithms in order to avoid downtimes. Marco, now we are collecting data from one line. A global beverage company, they have dozens of plants distributed all over the world. They will need service in terms of data analytics. You always think big, Andreas, but this is absolutely no problem. Look, we have the MindSphere, the open industrial IT platform. Mm -hmm. So we can handle that. Yeah, in fact, we have just developed two applications for MindSphere in cooperation with our partners from ATOS. The first one is about quality benchmarking. So basically, it's about comparing different plants distributed all over the world in regards to their quality performance. With the app, you can easily identify which plant is producing in a good quality that satisfies the customer and which one is not. The second application is about performance benchmarking. This is a key aspect for filling and packaging lines. So only if you have the full transparency about the performance of your lines, you can stay competitive in a market like the food and beverage industry. And this gives the flexibility to the plant owners to do data analytics on one central platform. MindSphere can do it all, anywhere and anytime. Right, Marco. What a comprehensive portfolio for digitalization in the food and beverage industry. So from product design, to services. Let's summarize the main aspects of our presentation. Digitalization allows a horizontal and a vertical data integration. It fosters the collaboration within your enterprise, and it helps to bring people closer. And digitalization turns your data assets into real value. So you can use information to bridge the gaps between your different departments, so production, warehousing, R&D, and so on. 
Oh. And finally, the digital twin allows you to simulate everything in the virtual world before you ever commit any resources in the real world. Hey, Marco, this is Nutrition Control. Your energy level is critical again. Please leave the stage now and get another drink. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Nutrition Control. Thank you for your attention. And if you have further questions, you can find us at the TIA wall in the controller area, and we can discuss about our digitalization concept. Thank you very much. Thank you.